everyone and welcome back to Slime Rancher where we have our adorable fire flowers blowing up here as the dawn rises on our ranch. Uh, and they they seem to be doing pretty well. I will admit sometimes it is a little bit difficult to watch as the hen hens disappear, but it is it is kind of the cycle of life and the hen hens to be fair have a lot of room to roam and a fair shot at things. Oh gosh. Uh, a fair shot at things before they become they become food for our beautiful fire flowers also known as tangle boom largos who are oh, oh let's back up a little bit oh look at the flames gosh they are so beautiful all right let's see oh, 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 oh. okay yeah thank you <laughs> but let's go ahead and gather up their plorts to start off the morning so i can get some uh some good plort cells going all right there we are there we are hopefully make a little bit of money because i would love to continue to rise up the seven z club um you know the seven z club goals oh and here's our beautiful glass roses ah so lovely i love watching them too but anyway yes so we're going to be trying to make some money today so we can gather up more funds to be able to rise up in the ranks of the seven z club uh, am i standing on a chicken i am standing on a chicken well, that is definitely one way to start my day. But we are also going to be checking in on- Ouch! <laughs> Flames, that's fine. We're going to be checking in on the apiary today to see how many of the honey plorts we can gather up since we need to throw as many honey plorts and possibly as many rad and quantum plorts, I'm just taking guesses, for the uh, the drones and seeing what the drones need. Let's just go ahead and sell all of these this morning seeing what the drones will actually need in order to be created, I'm assuming, in our slime science lab. So this is going to be so exciting. I'm so excited about the drone update. It's going to be any day now. Maybe I missed it this morning for all I know. But uh, they're going to fly around, fly around as little buzzy bees, and I want to be ready for them. So I want to gather up. Let's see. Last time we talked about making, I made a quantum honey Largo over at the slime science area last time and today I was kind of thinking that we would make a rad Mosaic Largo in our slime science area so we could see both what they looked like and also be able to gather up the rad slimes battery generating plorts to put into our slime science zone while also maybe making some money on the side <laughs> with the mosaic slimes. Why not? It's good to have your options open and to, uh, you know, keep your fingers in multiple pies. Uh, oh gosh, and there they go. Man, I love my, my glass desert roses, aka the beautiful mosaic tingle largos are probably one of my absolute favorite additions. I mean, just look at how beautiful they are. Oh, if I could have just tons and tons of those guys, I would. Uh, which I could. I guess I could make more room for the glass of the roses. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hello, hello. Oh, look at the pile. Everybody has decided that this is the tree to eat at today. <laughs> There's so many plorts and just imagine, imagine when I actually have some help in gathering all of these, but we'll work on the plorts in just a second. For now, I want to check in on all of our apiaries because I have a feeling we're gonna need a ton of buzz wax and everything else they can offer up. All right, are you all done? Yep, that's fine. I have an advanced apiary ready to go. Uh, oh, and I can't put down another one? Truly? Urgh. All right, what about if I get this one? And this one actually gave us some royal jelly, which is awesome. All right, let me get this one out of the way. There we go. What about now? Yes, all right, so we can install one of the apiaries here. And I guess I'll, I, I could install a drill here, but eh. I would rather put a really beautiful piece. Ooh, do I have a really beautiful piece of decor that I could put down? Wildflower patches. You know what? Wildflower patches are better than nothing. And I probably should decorate quite a bit more. His Royal Majesty Honeyman, all oh, the birds, deserves to have a properly decorated area after all. All right, let's come down here. Hello, Hen Hen. If you wish, I can escort both of you to temporary safety. Why, hello, my dear. I need that. All right, there we go. So we've got buzzwax, hexacombs, royal jelly, and a, and a couple stray hen hens. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pop up here. The turrets are here. You know, I should probably 
swap this turret out for like an ultra turret so that we never have to worry about what could happen to his royal majesty honey mint and is this the refinery link i just want to make sure i put down the right one uh so we want the refinery link so that we'll deposit all of these into our slime science zone oh the birds again gosh i'm easily distracted because birds are awesome all right so we'll throw all of these in here and this will immediately put it into the big pile of things there we go that we need for slime science so let's gather up i i wonder if I, you know what well it probably wouldn't hurt to give oh oh gosh there's a whole bunch more back here i just have so much stuff everywhere i need the drone so that i can be organized because as usual i am extremely disorganized with just how much there is to do all of the time uh all right oh prince honeypot it's good to see you how are you doing today oh my gosh he is wow he is very sprightly today my goodness uh hen hen come here there we go you know, they, they've got they've got the royal mint mango fields. Oh, and they're playing over a mint mango right there. That's so cute. And I actually saw in the Twitter previews, which if you guys really love slime science, or like science, or slime rancher, there we go. If you really love science, then you definitely want to be following my Twitter. But if you really love slime rancher, you, you want to be following the official Twitters for um, Monanami Park because they have been sharing the cutest pictures of some of like like right here where the tabby slimes will be playing with the fruit they will actually have to play tug of war with the little drone sometimes the drones will come by to pick up the the vegetable or the fruit and they'll have to fight with like tabby slimes that may be holding it and it was the cutest thing i had ever seen it was so adorable oh my gosh just imagine get in here hen hens I promise, it's for your own good. Come with me. This way, hurry. Okay, I literally plucked that hen hen out from under the rump of one of the Largos. All right, watch out everybody. Don't worry, you guys, well, I, I, you have tons of food. In fact, this is awesome. With the new gardens that they have, they don't have to worry about the food really going bad, so everybody gets enough for once. What was that? Just the, the honey tabbies being cute. All right, let's grab these. There we go. Nearly 100 honey applauds. This bodes so well. We will know that His Royal Majesty Honeymint and his people are the ones who have helped. Oh, let's put this. Look how cute this is. There it is. Ah, oh, that's adorable. But we will know that His Royal Majesty Honeymint and his people were the ones who. Oh, hen hens, in here, quick. Oh, you're stuck. You're literally stuck. All I saw was your little flapping rump. That was so cute. Uh, but we'll know that he and his people were the- Hi! Gotcha. <laughs> we're the ones to get the drones up. There we go. Is that everything? For now? Nope. Oh my gosh. Look at the crowd. The court. The royal court apparently wants to hang out over here today. Wow. It's kind of impressive that just like walking around, taking care- And it's free range honey florts too. Free range honey florts. So everybody can feel happy about it. Yes, it's very nice to see you too, my dear. All right, and any more honey plorts to gather? Just a few. Pardon me, oh my gosh. Yes, it's so nice to see you too. Oh, one more. Yes, oh, excuse me. That was one of the the royal assistants, the royal advisors. There we go, jeez. All right, 100 honey plorts. <laughs> Off to the refinery you go, and then I can go and grab some of the pieces I saw, and then we'll pop over to the mint or the mint mango area. Oh my gosh, the moss blanket. It was what I was trying to say. And after we go to moss blanket, we are gonna gather up some more of the resources that we need from the apiaries we have scattered around the world. But gosh, I love hanging out in Honeymint's area. You know, we should do something nice for him. <gasps> Let's do something nice for Honeymint and his court because they are clearly helping us out. So I could work, I wonder, you know, a, a, a taming bell would be kind of cute to leave here, don't you think? Is it getting set up? Oh, this is so cool. I wanna leave the taming bell here just for a minute because I think it would be so cute if uh, it like rang out over the royal court for a while. And maybe we'll go and grab some decor pieces like that big, <gasps> the big mossy tree trunk that I really wanna make that we haven't yet. Oh gosh, there we go. I want to go get the mossy tree trunk. Let's go do that real quick. All right. And that'll be our way of thanking the court for their assistance. Because holy days, they have given us quite a bit now. Uh, all right. Onward! 
now we're gonna go over. We will release, I can't believe 14 hen hens. All right, my dears, if you want to live. Oh, pardon me, so sorry. I did not mean to catapult all of you. <laughs> that truly was not my intention. Uh, and I'm gonna gather up this fruit really quick. Who likes cuberries again? Probably need to feed everybody inside of the cave pretty darn soon. Uh, just so busy, so busy. Oh, but the drones will be able to do that for me soon. I'm pretty sure the drones can actually take the food from like one section to another so that you're not stuck like running back and forth, back and forth, just trying to do the basics. All right, we'll make sure that these guys have lots of food so that they're not tempted to run away on me. And we'll grab even more honey plorts. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, and the cuberries. Let's see. Do you guys want cuberries? Here, I'll give these guys cuberries. Just so that they're going somewhere useful. But yeah, the drones could do that. Pick up stuff from your farm and put it into some of your... Uh, put it into your different, like, ah, what are they called again? The little, the little ranch spots that you stick your, your coops? They're not coops. They're slime coops. What do you call a slime coop? A corral. There we go. <laughs> what do you call a slime coop? Oh my gosh, Siri. All right, back off to Moss Blanket really quickly. And then we'll review and we will see how much we have managed to gather. Look at this. Lots of honey. Lots and lots of honey. We'll see how much we have managed to gather in prep for the drones. All right, more hexacombs. There we go. And there's one more piece somewhere over here. I know I put it up somewhere. Ah, there it is. And jump. Right here. Yeah, this will be the last one. Fooey. All right, so no royal jelly, but... Oh, no, this is the last one. Yeah, no royal jelly, but that's a, that's an okay amount of other stuff. Boom. Back over into our slime area. And yeah, so today I was going to make like the the battery slimes. But I think what I want to do instead is I want to make something for his royal majesty honey mint. So let's actually check. I do want to have like a couple super turrets set up, but I need silky sand for that. So, ooh, we should put in one of the drills over into the glass desert because I don't have enough, I don't have enough silky sand or spiral streams to take care of him. Uh, and this is interesting. The potted cactus, a cactus found in the glass desert that slimes and other items can stick to for a short while. It's in utilities instead of decorations, which is kind of interesting to see. I could make a whole bunch of teleporters. Oh, and the warp depot would just like drop items in a new area too. Oh, I could do that if I wanted to have some free range slime somewhere and just drop food over for them to be able to eat. That would be kind of cool. Uh, all right, but what else could I make? Bunch of decorations. I mean, I could give them a slime hoop ball or slime stage so they could play with those. That's kind of adorable. Let's see. But I haven't made a mossy tree stump yet. And to be honest, I kind of want to try that out because that would be really adorable and perfect for his Royal Majesty Honeyman's area. And there's also different kinds of flowers. Star flowers are said to have grown from fragments of a shooting star, but of course that's impossible. Oh, but they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Oh, and the crystal scones. Just imagine how beautiful we could make his Royal Majesty Honeyman's area. <gasps> this is so cool. Uh, I haven't looked at these in forever. There's glow rocks and cotton flower patches. Oh, those look beautiful. Those definitely look like something they would enjoy. Uh, so honestly, I think, I think what would be the coolest is maybe a couple of these crystal scones, uh, sconce, scones, oh my gosh. Uh, but a couple of these kind of set up at the entrance of the Royal Apiary. I think that would be really, really nice. And then we could start decorating with the different plants and trees uh, quite often. So let's do this. I wanna make a couple of these because I never have. Let's go get some more quantum slime. Plorts. Hello, my friends. Do you have anything? You do, thank you. There we go. This is more like it, actually having some plorts to play with. And let's come over here. There we are. And I want to see if we can make this look really, really cool. So where are we? I know mossy tree stump. I'm coming back for you one day, but I want to make a couple of those. There we go. In fact, can I make the mossy tree stump too? Can I, can I, can I? I can. Okay. There we go. Phew. 
All right, this is actually turning out to be a really good experiment. I am quite pleased. And it'd be kind of nice if we could jump between the Royal Apiary and the Slime Science area, which sounds silly, but it would unite the two furthest pieces of our ranch uh, in a way that I could get to really quickly. And, well, I'd have to be really careful, but you can't take any slimes through it, so they'd still be safe. Wow, look how pretty. Okay, let's figure out where I can put... I could put one right there, but I was kind of thinking they could go like over here. One could go at this entrance right here. Oh, but it's facing the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, how do you how do you convince it which direction to face? Let's try coming over here. Decorations. There we go. Now it's facing the right direction. Okay. Oh, that's so cool! That looks like something you would expect to see in like a royal apiary area. All right, where's another spot? I can put another one down. And then another one right over here. Or is there like a spot just right outside? Nah, just too far. We could put the ultra turret over there to deter any slimes from popping up though. All right, and then we'll come right here. And... How's it look? Oh, that's so cool! Oh, we already, it's already covered, literally coated in honey uh, because one of the Largos ran right into it. Oh, but Prince Honeypot seems to enjoy it. He's come over to give it a good look. I like it. I really like it. I think it gives the whole area a very nice, a very nice tone. Uh, and then I need to put in the tree stump. So where should I put the tree stump down? Maybe down somewhere where they can see it and like jump on it? This seems to be a popular spot, so, and her royal majesty, Princess Honeycomb, is here. So, mossy tree stump, right there. <gasps> it's got mushrooms on it! Oh, and it's so cute! It's like the royal throne! It is like having the royal throne, and here is the taming bell. So, if anyone ever becomes agitated, they can ring the little bell, and boom! Now we have a little royal throne that they can sit on. Oh, I'm so tickled. I love it. That's adorable. That is just so adorable. And look at all these plorts. All right, I think things have gone well. I like the new decorations. I think one of our other goals should be to try to make as many of the flowers as possible. So whenever we feel like it, we can come in and- oh, His royal majesty, honey, but where'd you go? There you are. May I please have the position of possibly being the royal gardener? That would be perfect for me. And then every time we come in, we can just swap out the different plants that are scattered around so that I can finally get a chance to see all of them. That would be so much fun. Uh, all right, there we go, there we go. Should be good, should be good. We'll grab another one of these plorts, give them back all of the mangoes that they were playing with and the pogo fruit. Huh, all right, well. Let me extract myself from this group. I think that went quite well. There's still a lot to decorate with and play with that it would be really fun to set up in the Royal Apiary. But in other spots of our ranch, we do have actual rancher business to tend to. And hopefully next time we come back, it will be because the drones are here and we will start creating them and we will start seeing exactly what they need to be crafted. So. Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be awesome. The drones are probably gonna change more or less everything. Oh, pardon me, princess. <laughs> Just like suck her up into the backpack like it's no big deal. Whoops. Uh, but it should be a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.